Hi there, I'm Dr Jenna Machoki and I'm an immunologist, which is somebody who studies everything about the immune system. I'm here today to show you how to prepare a seasonal spring soup and a savoury crepe that contains all the ingredients you need to nourish both your immune system and your gut microbiome. Start by chopping half an onion, grate a couple of cloves of garlic, heat some oil in a pan and add to the pan the chopped onion and garlic. Add a few springs of thyme, season with salt and pepper and fry off until the onion has softened. Add stock and frozen peas, bring to the boil and then turn down and simmer for around 10 minutes. Add the watercress and cook for another few minutes. Let the soup cool sufficiently before blending. Add a few spoonfuls of fresh artichokes. Now for the crepes. Start by cracking three eggs into a blender. Add around 50 grams of chickpea flour, add 50 ml of water and a small handful of spinach. Season with a little salt and pepper. Add some oil to a pan and stick it on a high heat. Wait until it starts to cook and then flip it onto the other side. Leave it for a few more minutes and then remove and repeat. Right, so now comes the time when we get to put it all together. So we've got these gorgeous bright green lively looking crepes and I'm going to add different fillings to each one. So this first one we're adding some hummus. So the crepes are made with chickpea flour which is full of fibre. So it's just mixing up that kind of staple uh, from wheat flour, um, another way to bring that diversity in. And we've got some more fresh watercress here which is going to pair lovely with the soup. Um, and then we're going to fold it in half. This one, I want to add some kimchi, which is a fermented food. So it's full of lots of live and active uh, bacteria. This is going to be really, really good for our guts. It doesn't have to be the spicy one. I like the spicy one, but you can try sauerkraut, um, lots of recipes online to make your own, or you can get it in most shops. Now I've also got some homegrown broccoli sprouts here, and these are really, really easy to, to make. They just sprout in a couple of days and they're just packed full of way more um, of these plant chemicals that we find in broccoli but much more concentrated so again just another way to have um, more diversity into your diet and now for the last one we're just going to cut the tomatoes scoop out and cut into some lovely thin slices it's like beautiful buttery texture and then we're going to lay on some of our tomatoes and some slices of avocado. Oops, there we go. And I've got also a few fresh artichokes, which I'm going to slice up thinly, bringing all that Mediterranean flavour and plant diversity to our final. Rip. There we go. And now we have this amazing soup, which is a bright, bright green color, which is full of loads of prebiotic fibers. So peas, and then we added the artichokes at the end. And artichokes are like a fiber powerhouse, which your gut bugs will love. It's also got watercress, which is full of lots of different vitamins and minerals and then all the flavour from the onions, adding herbs and spices, we've put fresh thyme in there. It's a great way to just bring in that diversity with these little, little things that you can do to make a dish really exciting and full of flavour. So the last little thing that we're going to do is add a little drip of lemon juice to our kefir, which is a type of fermented dairy, which means it's full of live and active bugs, which your tummy will love. And we're also going to grate in some lemon zest into the kefir. Give it a little mix and we're going to use this to just gently dress the soup. So I really hope that you enjoy recreating these gut loving recipes at home, adding in all this lovely plant diversity to help care for your gut microbiome and your immune system. 